today to show you an experiment. Are you excited for our experiment today? Our experiment today is called Blobs in the Bottom. Let's find out what will happen to the experiment. But before that, let's prepare the materials needed. The materials needed are a clean, clear soda bottle, three fourth cup of water, food coloring, vegetable oil, and some pleasing tablets. The materials are all ready. Let us start the experiment. First, get the soda bottle and pour some water into the bottle. Second, slowly pour vegetable oil into the bottle until it's almost full. We may wait for a few minutes for the oil and water to separate. Third, add the food coloring to the bottle and it will go through the oil and mix with the water below. Fourth, break a fishing tablet into half and get a half and drop it into the bottle. Watch, it sinks through the bottom and let the blobby greatness begin. another tablet piece. For a true lava lamp effect, shine a flashlight through the bottom of the bottle. above the water because the oil is lighter than the water or less dense than water. The oil and water do not mix because of something called intermolecular porality. Molecular porality means that water molecules are attracted to other, mo to other water molecules they get along fine and can loosely band together. This is similar to the magnets that are attracted to each other. Oil molecules are attracted to other oil molecules. They get along fine as well, but the structures of the two molecules do not allow them to bond together. Of course, there's a lot of more fancy scientific language to describe densify and molecular polarity. Added the tablet case, it sank to the bottom and started dissolving and creating a gas. As the gas bubbles rose, they took some of the colored water with them. When the blob of water reached the top, the gas escaped and down went Store your blobs in a bottle with the cup on, and anytime you want to bring it back to life, just add another tablet, please. Before we end this video, I have some few questions. Please comment down below for your answers. Number one, does the temperature of the water affect the reaction? Number two, does the size of the size of the bottle affect how many blobs are produced? Number three. Does the effect still work if the cap is put on the bottle? 4. Does, it, does the size of the table, tab, tablet pieces affect the number of blobs created? 
right, once again, this is Brent and Jay Bimatibag. Ho I hope you enjoyed this lovely video. You can start trying this experiment at home. Thank you!